Hey, I'm Bave, a game designer and uh, writer and creative director that has been in the game industry for about 20 years and before that I've been dealing in game design since 1996. Initially I started with the Choose Your Own Adventure books which I was fortunate to have a colleague in university who was in that genre, so I have some of those. Then moved to create the first national role-playing game, Pen and Paper, and from then on I moved directly to uh, game design. Initially I was more of a writer doing bits and pieces of game design, and later I gradually went into more in depth into the actual process, and years later, especially after I joined uh, Ubisoft, I became very familiar with the theoretical game design practices and started teaching uh, junior designers and other staff mem members in the process itself. Since then, I've worked on over 20 games, ranging from handheld, casual, to massive uh, AAA games, such as Assassin's Creed, for example. I've made games for phones, free-to-play for PC. Uh, I've worked tangentially for the Wii, pretty much almost all consoles since uh, the Wii. I have had some involvement or knowledge. I've also worked on a lot of genres. Mo my preferred genre is role-playing games and adventure quests. If anyone remembers the quests from the 80s and 90s, but currently I'm focusing on strategy games with uh, my current project for Snapshot Games, which is Phoenix Point. I've also worked on web games a bit, casual games, ga games both for specific, targeting both girls or boys or mixed audiences, all ages from Flip Plus to Mature, and there's uh, pretty much little I haven't done in the field. The reason I went into game design a long time ago was since I was a fan of uh, Sierra Gray's uh, games, spe uh, specifically Space Quest, I very much wanted to make a game which I could play myself. And that's how I started developing, well, at the time, writing games on 8-bit computers, equivalent of the Apple II. And afterwards, when coding became more complicated and I saw that I couldn't keep up, I just uh, focused on the writing aspect and on the game design and inventing aspect. Game design is a very complicated thing, meaning everyone has an idea what game design does and in most of the cases they're sort of incorrect. The game design is like a translation element which conveys and makes it possible from an idea to become a practical element. So the game designer role is to convey the intent of what a game has to be and the vision and make sure that the idea is conveyed adequately to programming, art and voice and writing so as to create a product which is very similar if not identical to what people imagine it to be beforehand. As such, game design involves a lot of writing, a lot of redoing things and on occasion about 90% of everything a game designer does is thrown away because of iterations. The focus in uh, the Game Fundamentals online program will be on knowing the basics, how to make the documents required for this vision quickly and efficiently and to save as much time as possible and decrease the amount of iterations needed because the more iterations are done, the better the product, and also it's much easier to fix something on a page of paper than to redo an entire game. At the moment, the software for game design is a bit lacking. Mostly the, the programs that any game designer uses are mostly free. Word, Excel and PowerPoint, or the equivalents in the other versions. Sadly, that uh, things haven't developed that much since the 80s and 90s, where everything has to be written in document form so as to be given to other people to read adequately. There are some tools which help some calculations and help some balancing issues, but 
For the most part, these three programs are the ones I use almost exclusively. And of course, I still use a lot of pen and paper things to jot down ideas and make uh, tables for work. So sadly, not as exciting as many would think, but that's it at present. Well, game design has developed a whole lot in the last uh, 10 years. Back when I initially started, which was in the very, very early 2000s, there was no courses for game design and there weren't even any practices. The, the greatest skill was to be able to code and help you be able to execute your ideas yourself. Afterwards, when a need for designers came, designers were mostly doing documentation and writing help files. That's pretty much how I started. Nowadays, there are universities and programs which focus on not only game design, but the entire game uh, process. And there, there are st very strict programs. So quite a lot of them are good. And of course, there are a lot of books. Now, books have also changed a lot since the early days. Back when I started trying to find books about game design, it was mostly the experience or the memoirs of famous game designers like Sid Meier's or others who explained what their process was. However, since there were no rules, there was no guarantee that that process would work on you. Nowadays, there are more books which uh, deal with game design from a more theoretical level. Like one of my favorites is the uh, Art of Game Design with the Book of Lenses where they don't tell you how to make your game design, they tell you what the game design is. There's also another favorite of mine, which is, uh, it's a more psychological book, is the art of, uh, the design of everyday things, which is mostly for user experience and user interface. Personally, in the course, I will be focusing on something which is called player-centric game design. That means that everything based on the game design it takes the player as its basis not the other way around. Game design is quite important for games because it does one thing that no other discipline does, and that is save time for the project. Now, one of the key roles for game design, and personally I think the most important role, is to make sure that every, everyone else can do their job as quickly as possible and have as few iterations as could be. So, game design does the work of explaining what needs to be done and also making all, uh, all or as many changes as possible before others start working. Because it takes a few minutes to change words on a sheet of paper or numbers. It takes a few weeks to change something which has already been coded and modeled and put into a game. So, in that aspect, game, de game design is like the booster of game dev disciplines. Good game design decreases the time by a whole substantial lot. The process of uh, inventing something in game design is slightly different, especially when uh, there's a big project involved. Usually it's not only the game design's role to invent something, that's uh, the creative aspect of the game. So the creative team in a AAA game, they come up with the idea based on their needs on a franchise or a desire to, make, uh, to uh, show something new. Game design then has the role of convey that vision into something that could be executed. So strictly speaking, game design is not that much involved in the creative process in the early stages. It could be, but that uh, depends on the company itself. Some companies like game design to be involved early on, others prefer not. In either way, once there is a creative vision, game design has to find all the elements corresponding to that vision and explain uh, in huge detail exactly each element of the vision and have it done in the game. By having done, the thing is that game design doesn't actually do any, anything other than make it easier for programming and art to execute the game mechanic or the elements as quickly and as efficiently as possible.